Okay, today what I'm going to be showing you is how to terminate a telephone point. The tools we're going to need for this are going to be an insertion tool, what we call a dobber, a pair of cutters, a Stanley knife, although we would normally use a, a cable stripping tool. Telephone points come in a variety of shapes and sizes. We'll start with the, uh, the BT, what they call NTE, it's usually in two sections. The This main part here, which is taken away, the line cables, which consist of two two wires, which are normally in a pair, well always in a pair, they go onto the A and B legs. At this point, the that is normally BT's property up to there. So if you've got any problems with the socket, the telephone doesn't work in this point here. That's down to. BT or whoever your supplier is. Other extensions that you might have off your cabling will come in through the box, come out here and terminate on two of the pins here. Your extensions might be this which is a two stroke 2A notice it has a capacitor on there I always recommend you have the capacitor this negates the need to connect pin 3 up which is the bell wire most phones these days um, don't actually need this um, but if you use this then you, you won't need to worry about the bell wire which can cause a lot of problems so we're just going to be terminating on pins 2 and 5 This is the more regular uh, size, the 85 millimeter plate. This is a three stroke 2A, exactly the same, just a little larger, standard back box. Uh, and this is a, um, a four stroke 2A, which is just a double outlet, which will do two, two different lines. Okay, so we'll be working with the three stroke 2A OK, so we're going to take our cable, and as I said, we'd normally use the Cyclops stripper, wind it round, pull it off, and away we go. But I'll show you with a Stanley knife. OK, so we get about three, three inches maybe, whatever we can afford. Just lightly score round, bend it, and you'll see it open up there. This doesn't it won't touch the, the actual tools and you've got the, the actual stripping wire in there, just cut that off. Okay now this cable's actually, I mean this is uh, external telecom cable, it's uh, black but it'll be white, it could be anything, it could be data cable, um, but you generally got four pairs in it or three pairs. Um, which go the blue and white, orange and white, green and white and brown and white. The by far it's it, it, the cables usually almost always terminates on the white blue pair, which is the first pair. Okay, right. Let me now. Next, we grab a cable tie, feed it through, pull our cable in there nicely, nice and 
nice light tight thing. Cut that off. Okay, so we're interested in the blue white pair. Put those to one side. The others. Just curl those up. Get them out of the way, just wrap them around the socket like that. That'll do nicely. The blue white, leave a little bit of slack on it. We put that across on number two. The white blue, again on number five. Across the two pins there. Now, these pins here, they're like a blade. And when the cable gets pushed down there, it separates the sleeve and the, the blades cut into the into the wire. Um, do not attempt to use a screwdriver to push it in because that'll open the blades up and wreck the contacts. Um, if it's an emergency job and you don't have the um, the insertion tool, then uh, I've got another video that uh, will show you how to do that um, and also how to. Um, locate the the actual line pair if you don't know which one it is okay so we then just go our, our dobber get it straight over the tool push down cuts off the cable pushes it right down into the slot same on pin five Voila. And that's that. Screw it up and you're ready to go.